Well, Mark, Michelle, it is very dark and quiet here right now, but just a few hours ago, the apartments behind me were surrounded with sheriff's deputies with their guns drawn. It all started at about 4.30 this afternoon when a woman stumbled into the local sheriff's district office and said someone had threatened her life. On a Friday evening, right around when people are coming home from work, relief turns to frustration with the sight of traffic cones blocking their street. And frustration into fear and concern. Instead of joggers and bicycles, there's bulletproof vests, big guns, and officers in SWAT trucks lining up to greet them home. And they came over to us and they said we could not be outside because the gentle, there was a gentleman in the left uh, left apartment building here and um, he was barricaded in the apartment and he had a gun. The suspect is this 47 year old man. He appears nervous and fidgety in the back of the cruiser. It took hostage negotiators three hours to get him out of the house. They kept calling out his name and they kept demanding that he hurt, he answer the phone and they said they were going to come in if he kept refusing to answer the phone. A female was inside the apartment here at 1274 Robbins Run uh, an acquaintance of the male resident at that address. Um, as they're talking, there was a, a disagreement over money. Um, it got heated to the point where the male actually uh, brandished a firearm, uh, pointed it at the female, and uh, threatened her life. The standoff ended when the suspect decided he was ready to face the deputies. There was no force involved. Sheriff's officials say they did find a small handgun inside his apartment. Now we're told the suspect lives here with his elderly mother who is not at home at this time. Now authorities are questioning him right now and if he is charged, he could face charges of aggravated menacing and felonious assault among a long list of other citations. Reporting live in Washington Township, Sonu Wasu, 2 News on your side. Well, right now